you guys i know that you guys cannot see my face but um i am actually getting ready to go um into work but i wanted to um jump on and talk to you guys about <laughs> i wanted to talk to you guys about Disable what and what I mean by disable what is this when you look up the word this it means um to be apart like set apart to be different um to be categorized to be stated as unable to do something but I just said to y'all, disable what? Behind the dis, there is the word able, <laughs> which means what the world considers unable to do, God makes you able. So whatever your disable what is, mine is cerebral palsy. Somebody else could be a health issue. Somebody else can be a self-confidence issue. Somebody else could be not knowing their purpose. Somebody else could be worrying. Don't let your dis or feeling of being unable allow you to stop moving and living um, for what God has placed you to do. Because like I said, Behind that word dis, there's the word able. And God um, reminded me one day, like, yes, you're disable, but you serve me. So as long as I'm able and you're living for me and serving me, I'm going to make you able. You are able to do all things through Christ who gives you the strength. So I encourage you all to Forget about the dis and remember that you're able. There's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that you cannot accomplish. There's nothing that you cannot reach for, desire for, because you are able, regardless if there is a, a quote unquote hindrance that the world see. Like I talked to you guys before about in my, um, in my last live, um, that thing, that thing that the world considers a dis, God is using it to open doors for you. You might not see it right now, but it's coming. You have to continue to trust him. You have to continue to lean on him for your for the understanding and not your own because our physical eye will make us quit. Our physical eye will make us feel that we're disabled instead of able. So I encourage you all to keep trusting God, to keep seeking him, to keep worshiping him, to keep praising him. And that thing that the world makes you feel like the door is closing on you on, God is going to use that same exact thing to make you a door buster. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can't do, sorry. As long as you believe and trust in God. He is your strength. He gives you strength when you're feeling weak. So I encourage you all to lean on him from that strength. When you're feeling weak, when you're feeling doubtful, when you're feeling sick and you just don't want to, lean to God for that strength. Because there's someone out here that needs you and your message, that needs your smile, that needs your encouragement, that needs you just to be simply who you are. And I encourage you all to, so when people say disabled, you say disabled, what? I'm going to get a shirt like that. That's okay. I'm going I'm to get a shirt. We're going to make it happen. Because no longer will we allow titles, y'all, to hold us back. Because if we do, we're never going to be experienced life. 
I got cerebral palsy. So what? You're 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 battling with issues. So what? So is everybody. Everybody has something, but everybody's is not visible, and that's okay. And the word we're going to heal, like I told you guys. The way we're going to heal from those things is to call those things out, to speak up on those things, to not be ashamed of those things, because those things are a part of us. They do not define us. Don't get it twisted, but they're a part of us. So you have to trust God because you were fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. So he knew what you were going to be in your mother's womb. So no longer do you have to say, I'm disabled or I'm unable to accomplish this or reach this because this door hasn't opened. Go back to the drawing board with God as the leader and those doors will open. And to next video, guys, be blessed. Keep praising. Keep fighting. Keep worshiping. Keep standing. Keep smiling. Um, I will leave my website information in the description box below. Please check it out if you have not already. There are numerous blogs up there that you can get encouragement from. Different books of the week that I have read that I'm interested in. Quotes, all of that. There's about me, there's an about me section on there. So if you want to know a little bit more about me and my family and my purpose for me doing what I do, it's all on that site. And I will also do a video about my mission and my purpose very, very soon. Until the next video, guys. Be blessed. Keep praising. Keep fighting. Keep worshiping. Keep smiling. And keep standing.